Hello there, right here I'm going to show you the Nokia 6500 Classic. This phone was originally released back in May 2007 in conjunction with the Nokia 6500 Slide. Both phones share a very similar design language as far as I can tell, but the Slide itself is technically superior compared to the Classic. The 6500 Classic is the successor of the Nokia 6300 and in turn it was succeeded by the Nokia 6700 Classic which was released in 2009. The Nokia 7500 Classic was marketed as a slim and fashionable feature foam that is unisex. It came in black and gold colors, and I'm not sure if there's a silver one that came out as well. It measures 9.4mm thin, and the top is made out of aluminum, whereas the bottom is made out of glossy plastic. Okay, on the front we have the earpiece, the 2-inch quarter VGA display, the Nokia logo as well as a glossy keypad. The left and the right sides have nothing of any interest whatsoever and so is the bottom. On the top we have the micro USB port that is the sole means for charging the device as well as connecting it to a computer. This one doesn't have a 2.5mm charging port as in the case of most Nokia phones around that time. On the back we have the LED flash, a rather mediocre 2 megapixel fixed focus camera, the loudspeaker as well as another Nokia logo. Removing the plastic panel, we get access to the mini SIM card slot as well as the battery. It's a PL6P battery with 830mAh capacity. So far, the Nokia 6500 Classic is the only phone to use this type of battery alongside the Nokia 7900 Prism. And I assume that both phones share a very similar design language and even hardware platform. This phone has 1GB of internal memory to make up for the lack of a memory card slot on this device, which is a bit unfortunate, sadly. Alright, let's turn this on. Alright, the Nokia 6500 Classic runs on Nokia Series 40 5th edition as it was very common for most Nokia phones of that time. And when you go to the main menu by default, you can see that the icons animate when you have highlighted them, which is quite interesting. Although this will be removed for the subsequent edition of Series 40. You have messages, contacts, log, settings, gallery, which also doubles as a file manager of sorts, media, camera, video recorder, music player, voice recorder, equalizer, stereo widening, organizer, apps and internet. By the way, this one is a 3G mobile phone. Alright, so let's listen to the ringtones first.
Okay, currently I'm using the black team. And now let's change it to bronze. Nokia team. Palm team. Silver team. Velvet team. Waves team. If you apply the team, if you cancel it before it fully applies, you get this default team that, that debuted with series 40 third edition, but it doesn't change the default wallpaper for some reason. Alright, this is the sole preloaded video that came in the phone. Okay, so let's take a look at the camera. The camera is a rather measly 2 megapixel and it has LED flash. And from here you can choose landscape photo like this. Night mode, flash, self timer, image sequence, effects, false colors, which looks something like this. Turns orange, pink, purple, pink. Alright. Alright. Other effects you get include ray scale, sepia, negative, solarize, white balance, open gallery, and that's about it. You can only record video in only at maximum QCIF resolution, which is very low, and the quality is not very good. Here I'll show you some photos and video samples from this phone, and I warn you, they are just simply terrible by duty standards. One more thing I'll add about this music player is that it comes with a total of three skins. The default skin, Bubble Steel, Brown Golden, and Outer Space. I don't think that any of these three included skins are justified on this phone. It makes it look a bit cheesy and doesn't fit this phone's supposed classiness. So last but not least, let's take a look at the apps. The collection. Converter which is as simple as the name suggests, you can set at change rates, manage conversions for various things. Download, which is basically a sort of mini app store, Opera Mini, Browser, Presenter, Search, which links you to a search engine, and the World Clock. Games, we have Golf Tour, Ready 3D, Snake Tree, and Sudoku. Basically, just an 18 Oh, in one. I'm not. I'll just give you a quick sample of how the game is like. That's about it. Rally 3D. <laughs> Possibly the, the best racing game preload on the mobile phone of all time. Just quite simple. All you have to do just basically raise your car in such a way that you can beat the targets set by other players. And for this game, you have to actually start collect the cars gradually in order to be able to unlock all the to finish a game in that sense because all the cars have very 
most of the cars have very low speed limits at the beginning of the game and there are no AI races in, the, in this game, all you just have is yourself and the road but to order to win prizes, win first, second or third place you must beat the timings of three defined players and that's all I can say about this game Snake Tree which in my opinion is still superior to the one on the current Nokia 8110 and the 3G well this is the standard mode and there are also other modes you can do such as custom which you can suit the game to your liking like adjusting things such as the maze, food, growth, obstacles, specials and speed up you also have adventure where you basically have to eat a certain amount of fruits within the uh, time limit and this continues on and on and on until you get a high score this is probably my favorite move of snake tree and that's about it you can turn music on and off you can select the snake color virtual camera 3d chaser i don't like it it makes it a bit more high nor nauseous in that sense overview on and off okay so that's about, about all i can say about the nokia 6500 classic it looks quite elegant for a feature phone even though i do definitely agree that the 6700 classic which succeeded it is a far better phone in many ways not just because of the looks but also because of the camera itself which is miles ahead of the crap camera that this one really has so that's all i can say about this nokia 6500 classic if you want me to show more retro videos on both mobile phones of any kind of any sort i'll definitely be glad to do so feel free to like comment and subscribe on my video and do hit the alert button to be notified of my new videos as soon as they are published thank you and i'll see you in the next video